you can come here, pick shop all, and then if you pick photo archiving. So today's video, I'm actually going to show you how you can take your old physical copies of a photo and turn it into a digital copy. Yeah. All right, so, um, what the heck? I guess it's the prime truck, I don't know. All right, well, as I was saying, in this video, if you don't have a scanner at your house and you don't really wanna buy a scanner because you're like me and you have like six photos you need to make digital because you only have prints of them, this is how you could go to Walmart, scan in the photos, and you can get them on either a USB drive, on a CD, on a DVD, whatever you need. And also you can do this at other places. I know Walgreens has a very similar system. I did it at Walmart and here's my experience. And uh, this is very similar though to what you'll see almost anywhere. You're able to go into the screen, touch everything, scan them in, and then get an SD card like within an hour. So let's get to the video. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com, and let's get started. So I have all of these nice photos from our wedding that I uh, want to turn into digital photos. So you can come here, pick shop all, and if you pick photo archiving, USB tells you you can pick them up in one hour. Click create. Then it brings you to this screen where you're able to choose how you import them. Fix gives you liability information. Click accept. Flap that single scan. Pull out this drawer. Open up your scanner. Take your picture and place it face down on the corner. Close your scanner, click your scan color photo button, and then it scans the picture. I'd say it takes uh, 10 to 15 seconds or so to scan a picture, give or take. Sometimes it's a little longer. But then it shows you your picture, like so, and then you can click either rescan to scan it again, scan more, or continue to finish. So I'm going to click scan more, and then just repeat the same process. One more times to uh, to get all of these. Bing and bada bing, bada bing. All right, got the second photo. Scan more. Move this one. Grab the next one. You can put them either way. You need to put them this way or this way. You just put them to this little arrow, though. And of course, it tells you here. Place it face down, then close the lid. And you can also either click the button here or you can click it up here and then it scans you a color photo or a black and white photo if that's what you're wanting for whatever reason. Comes up this little Walmart Photos USB, USB 2.0, 16 gigs, and that's six bucks. There's our next one. Scan more. Got another one done. Got one more to do. All right, and that's the last one. So now, scanned in all of my pictures. And so we'll click continue. And then it brings you to this screen where you can see all six of my photos or how many other photos you have. You see the price, archive USB, 588 per USB. And then I can select all. Six files selected, one USB required. This is where that it kind of ends. You do add to cart. And uh, then it makes you one of these uh, little receipts here. And you can also get files from, uh, you know, micro SD cards, regular SD cards, USB, USB-C, all of the uh, phone adapters, USB-C phones, iPhones, micro USB. I don't know if that's a floppy drive or what, but, uh, you know, even a uh, DVD or CD. So uh, this thing can handle everything. You and that there is about it. Now, I only had about six or seven photos that I needed to do this with, and the entire process probably took me somewhere from three to five minutes, and it cost me basically six bucks. I can't remember exactly how many photos you could get, but it's I believe it's as many as will fit on that SD card for the six dollars. Some places like Walgreens, you get a certain amount of photos for a certain price. Like you get 35 photos for five bucks, and then it's extra for any photos past that. 
And so there you go. That's how you can take your old physical copies and turn them into digital to upload them without just taking a picture with your phone, which I tried that, it didn't work very well. But you could also do the same thing if you ended up buying the like $60 scanner that they have hooked up at these places and just plugged it into your computer at home. Me, mine was kind of a one-off, that's why it was well worth the $6. So that'll do it for this one. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.